Meow. Hello everyone, my name is Swing Point, and welcome to another episode of Firewatch. In this episode, we learn a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. You're gonna see what I mean, especially at the end of the video. So, I don't want to spoil anything, so please sit back and enjoy. Well, we got two things to report this here. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? What's wrong with her? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? Uh, no! Okay. I am getting drunk! I was gonna say, something sounds off with her right now. Now, Henry has a nine for manipulation. Maybe a bad idea? Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harshing my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or... I could not worry, and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Now my radio's off. I kind of don't trust her right now. I mean, I she's supposedly drunk, but like... Something feels off with her right now. Either way, I gotta find whatever is causing this thing to beep. The fact that Henry's a 9 out of 10 when it comes to susceptible to manipulation makes me think that we're being manipulated right now and that there's really something that I am completely do- like, I feel like I'm doing completely everything that they want me to do. I don't know how the fire started. I would imagine that they started burning everything after we found out what was going on. But why? There's a lot of weird stuff going on right now, guys. I don't trust anything. Not even Delilah right now. I don't know if I trust where I'm going with this beeping. I feel like there might be a trap at the other end of it. Huh. Why, why, why? I don't even trust that this is real. I don't know, man. Lots of stuff going on. Lots to think about. But I'm gonna go ahead and come back to you guys when I figure out what the hell is beeping. You know, I almost wonder- oh god, I almost wonder if going to this thing's a bad idea now. Oh god. Well, here it is. Oh boy. This looks like a trap. Hello? Oh god. What is this? Shit! Oh! I knew it! Fucking knew it! Ah. Wait, I gotta go turn it off? I'm just gonna take that. This totally felt like a trap. Oh, this is that cave! They put that there on purpose. They totally- D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? It was totally a trap. Yeah, I'm fine. But there's- there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? It is. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. <sighs> Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Right? Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. What? I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Oh, my God. It is not me. Oh, my God, go. I'm oh. going. Oh, my God, go. Oh, my God, go. Oh, my God, this game is just so intense. Where the hell am I even going? I gotta go this way? I think I climb up this way, don't I? I don't know how to get back up there really fast. Oh, God, I'm just running around. Okay, I think this might be the way. I think this might be the way. I think this might be... This is so freaky. 
Kinky dude! Oh god, I hate this so much. There's just so much anxiety, so much mystery, so much everything right now. I gotta get back up to my tower and see what the hell is going on. Come on, there ain't no way they got out of here that quickly. They're at my tower. I made it pretty quick over here. There ain't no way they got down all these steps that quick. I'm heading back, guys. Going in. Oh god. Oh god. The alarm was totally so they would know to come up here, isn't it? Those sons of bitches! Mm, I knew it! I knew it was a trap! And there's no one up here. Fuck. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Taped Walkman. What is this? What is this bullshit? talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Uh, don't freak out. <laughs> Gee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. I'm a freak. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? I don't know. You know, I feel like this game has a lot to do with integrity. Because if you're always being watched and you didn't know you were being watched, it shows how you act when no one's watching. And same with Julia, too. That's like another... Another factor of integrity. Hung over. Oh, God. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. What? Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Oh my god! <laughs> Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Um, just stick together, I guess? We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. I know I'm right. I know. <laughs> I just leave this here? You know what? You know what? Please. No. 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 Where the? Yeah. You know what? Fuck this thing! <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. So free. I was not expecting all this. It gets so freaking intense. Ah! Okay, so. We gotta head down to the cave and see what the hell is going on. I feel like heading down to the cave is exactly what they want us to do. But, you know, no big effing deal! So, I'm gonna go ahead, try to head down to the cave, try to keep my cool. Oh my god, I'm keeping my cool a little bit better Can't words anymore. Keeping my cool a little bit better than Delilah. But yeah, like I was saying, I think this game is a very, very good reminder of integrity and how you act when no one is watching. Are you the type of person who behaves when no one else is watching? Or are you the type of person who's like, eh, no one's gonna know because no one can see. We've had a couple of opportunities with how we're talking and we could have got super screwed if I would have said, yeah, when it came to burning the place down. That would have really screwed us. We've had plenty of opportunity to be very promiscuous with Delilah. I accidentally did it once, I think, when I asked her what what are we going to do? And she's like, oh, I'll tell you what I do to you. <laughs> and, yeah, like, with those two things in mind, you have to, like, be super conscious of what you're saying all the time because we didn't even realize we were being watched and we're being watched. And I feel like, like I said, we've done a pretty good job of staying faithful to Julia. We've done a good job not sounding like we're trying to burn the place down. I don't even know where I'm going. i got to look at where I'm going, by the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, I need to head down to this cave. Oh, my God. I'm going to see you guys... When we get to the cave, and we'll just see exactly what we're getting ourselves into. I need to head a north and a little bit east. This is a really good lesson. Like, there's 
Especially when it comes to, like, gossip and things like that and, like, talking about people. I feel like that's kind of a big problem where, like, people just kind of, like, name drop and talk shit about people behind their back. Well, if you play this game, hopefully it makes you a little bit more cautious of, you know, shit gets back to people. Maybe you shouldn't talk shit about people behind their back or, like, join in on other people talking shit about people. Be that person who doesn't you know, make those conversations flourish. Be the person who's like, okay, you know, maybe it's not cool to talk shit about somebody behind their back. Even if the whole group that you hang out with doesn't like that certain person, you can be the uncool one and be like, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't be talking shit. Because if you have any sort of integrity, that's what you can do. Or at, at the very least, if you're not like in a position and you feel like you'd be a little too uncomfortable to make everyone else shut up, don't add to the conversation. Be like, just, just stay silent when people are talking shit. You, don't add to it. You didn't actually make that call, right? No. To, to the other lookout? No. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I'm not even going to answer that? Of course not. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Oh, God. See? And this... There you go. That's more about integrity. Like, when you start wondering if someone lies, you never trust them again. And, like, if somebody lies to you about... Or not... If somebody talks shit to you about someone else, you can guarantee that they're the type of person that'll do it to you behind your back. Gotta stay away from those type of people, man. Gotta stay away from that type of interaction. Just gotta... You gotta be a good person, keep your integrity up, be good, behave, and again, don't ever add to those conversations. Best if you can tell other people to shut up, but at the very least, do not, do not add to that, do not promote it. Did my gate just lock? Whatever, I don't even care. I'm going in deeper, baby. Jesus, deep, deep, this is deep. a big cave. I probably don't get reception down in this cave, like, why would I find a way out of the cave? Use Pulaski? Oh, does it have a name now? <laughs> okay, I can squeeze through, but like, don't I want to like, go down and see what's going on? Long, steep drop. No? Interesting. Okay, well, let's see what's over here. Oh, I thought this was the way out. This is just a way deeper into the cave. Never mind. Oh my god, man. This is so creepy. So mysterious. I really feel like I'm going to get jumped in here, man. And I, when I said jump, I didn't mean I was going to jump. Hey, you're just talking to yourself. Nobody's going to hear you down here. No way they're going to hear you in a cave. Like, maybe if you stand right here and be like, Delilah, listen to me. But that's about the best that you're getting. You got, like, there's there's no way that those radio waves can freaking bust through rocks like this. Uh-uh. He is all alone in here. Which is super creepy because all we've ever had this whole summer is Delilah. She's been kind of helping us through this whole summer emotionally. Now we're at the point where, uh... I don't think she's gonna be there for us right now. Maybe on multiple fronts. She might not be trusting us anymore, and we can't even hear her. I'm not sure. Okay, we just went through this effing cave and nothing happened. There ain't no way that's supposed to be how that went. Long dr No way! I've got to be missing something here. I just came out at that freaking bear point something, didn't I? Like, yeah, because the line's down. Well, that would make sense. And when those people that tore down the line, the phone line, they didn't want us talking on the phone, right? They wanted us all on our walkie-talkies or our radios. I call them walkie-talkies. They wanted us on our radios, which is why they cut the phone line, isn't it? Those bastards! Okay, I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. This cave's way creepier when you go back in than it is in the first time. Oh, my God. I knew I missed something. The hell is that down there? Oh, I just got to zoom in. A shoe. It is a shoe. It looks like a little kid's shoe, doesn't it? Holy shit. Can I do anything about it? Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, we found the shoe. We didn't interact with it, so I don't know if it's going to come up in conversation, but we found this shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get back out of the cave. Delilah's probably, like, freaking out if she's trying to get a hold of me right now, because I'm not responding at all, because I'm stuck in this cave, and I, I know I don't have any reception. So I'm going to head back out here and see what's going on. It's a long drop down, so it's kind of a one-way street. So let's, uh, let's do it. Trapped in the cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? A shoe. Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. A shoe. You saw someone? 
No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. What? Uh, I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Okay, so I totally feel like I missed something. I don't know if he's talking about, like, a way to, like, anchor it so I can, like, climb down farther? Because there was plenty of opportunities to climb down farther in that cave. I just couldn't... Oh. Find any of them. Whoa. What is this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Yeah, look at that. Handmade sign. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Huh. Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. It's so cute. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Aww. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Right? Yeah. Poor uh, kid, man. Sorry. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. <laughs> Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Huh. Smarter than me? Are you saying I'm a knucklehead? What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... <laughs> because I know lots of stuff. I know lots oh, of stuff. Please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Ha, ha. Sorry, boss. Okay, so I got some anchors, I'm pretty sure, which is what I needed. I don't need to head back to Two Forks, but there's a lot of other stuff to take a look at here. So what is this? Can I look at it? No to Ranger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and report it. That way I can don't lose the opportunity, and I'm going to read it. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a Ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Right? Wow, dude. There's a lot of stuff to talk about in here. I wanna take a look at some of this, too. What is this? Wizards and Wyvern sheet? Is that what? What kind of game is that? Is that a game? That sounds like a game. There's some grade A dork contraband here. <laughs> you found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. <laughs> Classic wizards and wyverns. <laughs> Delilah's a dork. <laughs> okay, well, what is ham radio diagram? What does that even mean? Let's talk about it. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That's a postcard. Yeah, he's with his dad and okay, sorry, the he can't his lawn this summer. Oh gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Hey, what about what about this? There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. What does that even mean? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Interesting, but wrong. 
not conventional. Past maximum voltage. Radio Goodwin with Brian and Ned. Too high. I don't know what all that means. Not at all. I would like to know what that all means, but I ain't got a clue. I can hold on to so much of this stuff, though. Like, seriously? Five degrees north? Okay, well... Is there anything else in here? I'm pretty sure there's like a school folder I can talk about, and then I think we'll head back into the cave, right? Yeah. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. That's it, huh? Okay, well, we got our anchors. We don't need to head back into... Two Forks. So I'm gonna try to find my way back into the cave. I probably gotta like whip back around. And we'll try to descend a little bit deeper. Maybe figure out what the deal with that random shoe is. And just see just how far this cave goes. And hopefully we don't find anything hiding down in there. Oh, God. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Oh. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Oh, They good. took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Good. Oh, I'm glad they're alive. Thank God. Phew! <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Okay, so, you might be able to tell I'm back to this game at a little bit later date. And I've had some time to think about Delilah and what's going on here with Henry and this whole escapade that Henry has taken on in the woods. And I told you guys I would talk to you about what Delilah means, at least what I googled. And basically what Delilah means is she's, she's a temptress, which means... She's going to get you to do things that you probably shouldn't do and you probably wouldn't do if you were just by yourself. I believe Delilah's role, just based on the way she's been talking to us, based on this whole summer's experience, based on what Google is telling me, that her role is to try and make it so I am tempted to leave my morals and kind of ditch Julia. That's my guess. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But it's... It's, it's something to think about, you know, like, I don't know. She she has that air about her, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna totally discount it. It could be... It could be that Delilah's actually bad news, so... Alright, so I need to make my way back into this cave right here, huh? Perfect. Well, I made it back, but... I mean, somebody snuck up behind us, slammed the door, and locked it from this side. And... When I went down here, I can't remember if there's something I need to do before I go back in here again. I'm gonna use my key, hopefully I don't get jammed in here again. But I'm pretty sure there was like a shoe or something that we found down here. I'm like, oh god, what if it's Brian's? So let's go back into the cave and see if we can go digging for stuff around in here, huh? It's gotta be something I was missing. Oh, here's how we go deeper. Okay, so I totally must have missed this last time. There's a cracked rock here that I can dive deeper into. Okay, so now I finally figured out how to get down into the cave. Sorry guys, you're probably mad at me the first time I went through here. But now that we got this, like this just looks like something you could go down. I just couldn't figure out how. I didn't realize there was a crack in that rock. Well, let's go see what kind of secrets we have hiding in here. Well, maybe it's good that I went all the way through the cave first. I don't know. I got to talk to Delilah. Got to see what was going on there. Got to see the good one's little camp that he put up there. And that might help fill in a little bit of backstory now that we are digging deeper, which is I mean, we're assuming that the Goodwins are maybe trapped down here or died down here, just based on the shoe that I found. I don't know. I'd imagine there's something nasty going on in here that those guys are trying to hide, right? Because there's been these people. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. There's these people that have been, like, chasing us, really, or, like, stalking us and creeping on us and, like, documenting us. And apparently this cave is the, is the way to discover all these secrets, so... Let's, uh, let's keep going down here. I'm sure we'll find something. I, I don't think there's 90 days in this game, either. I was under the impression that there was... This is gonna be an... Ah, oh, shit. We're gonna have to end this episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's going to be one part left of Firewatch. Next part is the last part. So, if you guys are really excited to see it, I'm probably going to upload it today. That way you guys can get... All the Firewatch done in one day. If you want to see the next video as soon as possible, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And go ahead and subscribe if you've been enjoying Firewatch and you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Meow. Meow.